Hello there. I'm going to be showing you how to do graphing in Google Docs today. So long story short, we've always done labs in middle school science, and we were always continuing to use paper because we thought there was no way to get around needing them to graph. But we've actually figured out a really handy way to do this. So you could have them create their own graph. What we did is we literally made a picture out of the graph we used to give them and inserted it as an image. And Google Docs allows you to edit images. So we click on the image, click edit, and it opens up the Google Doc drawing easel. And what we've already done to save time is we have put in numbers for the students along the side, as you can see, they're not perfect. We didn't take the time to space them out super perfectly, which you can do if you want to spend the time doing it. I'm not going to for the sake of this video. So I'm going to show you how the kids actually plot their graph as opposed to spending time on the numbers. So with that being said, what you can do as far as graphing, it does take a little bit of teaching the first time around with the students, but once they get the hang of it, they are very quick at catching on and being able to do this on their own. So in order to plot our dots, because we're going to make a line graph, when you go to shapes, you simply select one of the different sphere options. And I always like to change the color because the light blue is not very easy to see. So with the kids, the kids are really good with copy and paste. Once they get their first point plotted, we simply teach them how to control C, control V, how they can copy and paste. And instead of having to make a brand new dot every single time, they drag and drop it to exactly the spot that they need it. And they can actually get this done really quick. The dots tend to go very fast for them. So once they get all their dots plotted where they need it to be, there's actually a really cool feature, which is normally used as a drawing, but it's actually able to be used in this as well. If you go up here to the line tool and you select the type of line, there are two options. I have some students that really prefer to do the curved connector or the curve. But for those that are not very good with the computer stuff, Scribble is a freehand tool. And because the kids have the touch screen tablets now, they can actually do this with their finger since they don't have a mouse. It's kind of hard on the mouse pad, but they can literally take their finger and draw a line connecting all of their points. And they can beef up that line, they can change the color, and it comes out being this nice graph. Save and close. And now each student has their own individual graph with their own plotted points on it according to the data that they needed to use in the graph. And that is how you can do graphing in a Google Doc. 